it's it's David and Patrick. Don't we uh, have something we want to say? Yes. Thank you, John. Sadly, I won't be able to squire you for today's wedding venue peregrination. You invited Mom? She's literally been asleep in a closet for a week. How mercurial is life? We all imagine being carried from the ashes by the goddess Artemis, and here I get a balatron from Barnum and Bailey. <laughs> okay, I have no idea what that means, but it doesn't sound good. You just remove those vet tomatoes, Mr. Rose. I'll be back in the shake of a lamb's rump as soon as I find a signal. I promise to keep my husband habilimented from now on. Oh, dear. David's nocturnal aneurysis used to only happen when he went to bed all juiced up with excited anticipation about something. Say Havarti, girls. Oh, no. <laughs> well, you can't win them all. Oh, I was dragooned into taking over the Interflix social media channels today, and apparently I'm quite proficient at it. What in God's name do you have there? Please tell me it's not a test you're done. No, it's a turtle. Alexis, turtles do not pat smeg. The poor things are riddled with a myriad of diseases. You may as well tie a leash around a raw chicken cutlet. All the blogs about successful long-term relationships say that the key is creating shared experiences. Oh, dear. If your coupling is too frangible to survive this brief disunion. OK, I am trying my best. Is this supposed to be making me feel better? Mrs. Rose, was that you the whole time? Indeed it was. Thanks in large part to the thaumaturgy of our special effects department. Stunning, isn't it? This is so exciting. What if it gets nominated for an Oscar? Uh, oh. Golden Globe, perhaps, but I won't let myself envisage that. I gotta say, the special effects look way better than what I pictured when you described it. Jocelyn hasn't had a chance to render her opinion, though the adulation does appear to be unanimous. Well, it looked like a real movie. Oh, good, Jocelyn. I caught you in a moment of repose. Yeah, I was just grading book reports. Oh, tell me about it. Best, best to avoid any fulsome indecorum until we're assured a positive reaction. Hello, Access Hollywood? Have I got a star sighting for you? <laughs> Very pocky, Jocelyn. I just heard the big news. A movie premiere in our own backyard. Excuse me, but I'd be remiss if I didn't acknowledge my daughter, oh, Alexis Rose. Yes. This whole PR coup d'etat never would have happened without her. Thanks to your little attack of the Corfidi, we are Interflix's number one stream of the day. Though you might find a bit more delectation in this. Oh, I do. I, I just, like, haven't received flowers from someone I wasn't friends with. Yes, this is a quandary. I'm so happy that I wrestled you away today for this unological escapade. That being said... Oh, my God. If I may impart a slice of marital sagacity, you and I, we're two potent grapes. There he is, my ginty hotelier. How does it feel to be president in the presidential suite? Oh, Tippy, I have missed that vaudevillian charm. Oh, honey, it's been far too long. There are a lot of fans who think that Clifton Sparks had you written off the show because he was jealous. Don't be a dotty paw, Alexis. No, I unwittingly negotiated myself off the show. Is Clifton involved? Alexis, he drove all this way just to personally beg me to acquiesce. Mm, of course he did. You are the only person in the show making headlines right now. You, Alexis, are one shrewd little Reynard. You were right about Clifton. He sucks in this, by the way. Thank you for removing my rosy lunette so that I might see Clifton for who he really is. And if you did all that without getting out of bed, imagine what you're capable of doing. Before we find ourselves ebrious with uh, pooch and happiness, May I say how very proud all of us are on this day of days. Well, we did say no speeches, so. Your father. Yes, they listen. With his pecuniary savvy and intrepidation has turned what began as a cats and jammer of a day into one filled with faith, hope, and love. Well, thank you, sweetheart. Well, either way, the Interflix offices are there, and they told me that they wanted to talk to me about continuing our relationship. 
Felicitations, Alexis. Okay, I know this technically isn't news yet, but like, this is really good news! Oh! 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 Okay, we'll just uh, smooth things over until Grace arrives. I I'm right here. Yes, you are, Grace, our timorous Grinagog. I think I'll miss you most of all. Wait, are you sure it isn't a bit premature to be talking about all of this? I think they get it. <laughs> it's our turn to send him a Batman. It's just that this is feeling a bit desperate. Can we do this without holding hands? No! Oh, Bev, I'm sorry I missed you, but I'm so happy I got your voicemail. Wondering when you might be gettable for a little red bitty, a little back chat. Hmm? Oh, and we're moving to New York. I just thought it was time. Ciao. But Bev and her big bazoo will get the word out quicker than any group memorandum. Well, that's a relief. Kids, breakfast is served. Oh, is it just me, John, or does the air not have a particularly lovely redolence today? Uh. Do I detect a scintilla of lavender? Isn't it funny how the air suddenly smells sweeter now that you know we're leaving? I'm surprised I didn't see you there, Moira, celebrating your big Sunrise Bay news. And what would that communique entail? The reboot. Don't tell me I'm the first person to congratulate you. So it's a go. Considering I'll have some time to fritter once we're there, do you think you might want to put me to work? Well, I didn't know that would be of interest to you, Moira, but I'll see if I can get you something. Tippy. Yes, I just received it. Please tell me this is not some barbarous jape. Yes. My answer is a yes. A clangorous, vociferous yes. Thank you. Thank you. May I just proclaim that I have rarely, it, never, I've never felt more buttressed than I have in your company, dear gals. Well, the, the day did have a slight singultus. What is she talking about? The hiccup. What hiccup? Who's hiccuping? Okay, David, shush for a minute. What happened to Fabian? He canceled because of the rain. What kind of adult man rides a penny farthing? He's a haikuist! Well, David, I, I, I could easily step in here. I have a lot to say about my son. Oh. It's getting a good son. You can barely get through this without crying, so that's a no. I know I did bring down the house at Pat Sajak's first wedding. 